Hi YouTube, it's Dia. Um, I had Shiloh, as you can see. Um, I had him one week ago from today. So he's a week old. Um, I'm gonna do my labor and delivery story since he's sleeping right now and it'll be really easy. Um, so I had no signs of labor. I went past my due date. I was um, induced on September 29th. Um, we went to the hospital at 5.30 in the morning, and they started my Pitocin at 6.23, and, um, and my contraction started to pick up around, like, 7.30-ish. Um, not, like, super bad, though. They weren't unbearable. Um, when... Um, and then they asked me if I wanted to, um, get my epidural when I was, I was four centimeters, 80% of face when I went into. So they asked me if I wanted my epidural right away. So I said yes, and the guy came up to do my epidural. And it happened to be the same guy that did my friend Tanya's epidural, and hers fell out, and he numbered from the waist up. So he was, he's just a really bad uh, anesthesiologist, I guess, um, he had to put the freaking epidural in three times and still didn't get it. He kept hitting a vein every single time, um, and it was a pain in the ass, and it hurt. <laughs> the epidural itself didn't hurt. It's the numbing shots that hurt. It feels like a really bad bee sting, and he had to do it three times and no success um so they said they were going to call up another guy to try and do it and um so it took about um let me see it took like another hour probably for him to get up there and in between that time I got my water broken um what time did they do that? Like nine? Yeah, probably about nine. Like nine thirty. Nine thirty. Um, they broke my water, and that was gross. It like just gushes out, and it goes all over, and you have to sit on the pee pee pad like a dog. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of nasty. Um, and then they had another. They had the other guy come up to do my epidural, and by this time, like I had gone into back labor, and my contractions were terrible. And it, the only way I can describe it is it felt like somebody had taken a wrench and tried to rip my guts out of my back with it. Like, that's the only way I can describe it. It was the most awful pain in the entire world. Um, so, that one's cool. Um, yeah, they were terrible. And trying to sit through the epidural, like, trying to wait for him to do it was really hard, especially when you're in back labor, like I was screaming and my nurses, and my nurses, um, I was screaming into my nurse's um, shoulder the whole time, and it was terrible, it was just really bad, um, and then, so he got the catheter in uh, my back, and uh, he said that he was going to do the epidural, but I was so close um, to having to push that they ended up just giving me an injection of stuff to numb me, um, and then they gave me an injection of the epidural medication, like, right before um, I had to push. So, um, I had an allergic reaction to the first step that they gave me, the numbing stuff, and um, I was so itchy. I looked like a crackhead <laughs> and it was terrible. Um, <laughs> so they had to give me Benadryl to stop it and it sucks because they gave me the Benadryl right before I pushed. So the, the like, oh and at this point I was 8 centimeters dilated and 95% of face. Um, but so at this point it's like right before I have to deliver it. Oh, it's cool. And um, <laughs> I'm like sleeping. <laughs> they gave me the Benadryl and I was just like, 
<laughs> and like I had all these people in my room and they're like, is she sleeping right now? <laughs> but I, I definitely slept. <laughs> that was really funny. Um, so yeah, I slept up until I had to push. They kept coming in and checking me and they were like, okay, you're nine and a half and you're almost ready to push, but we're not going to make you push till, um, till you feel the urge. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to go back to sleep then. <laughs> so I kept falling back asleep and then finally I was like, I realized I'm like, shit, I'm about to have a kid. I need to wake up. <laughs> so I like made myself wake up and made myself um, start trying to push. So they all came in, got their scrubs on and stuff, got ready. Um, and uh, I was still sleeping at this point. And they got the bed ready and they were telling Jesse and my mom like how to hold my legs and what to do and when to do it. Um, and so, yeah. And by this time, I was fully dilated, fully effaced, and ready to go. Um, so they uh, let me start pushing. And I was in labor for about three and a half hours altogether. And push time was about five minutes, right? Five or ten minutes? About well, five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. It was really quick. Um, so five minutes and... I was about four contractions that I pushed through, three or four, um, and I got him out. I didn't feel anything. Like, I had the easiest labor ever. I cannot even tell you how easy it was. Oh, my God. Like, I was expecting this, like, horror story labor and, like, just preparing myself for the worst, but it was so easy. Um... Yeah, three and a half hour labor, five minute push time, and only three or four contractions, and he was here. And I didn't even feel the pressure. Like, people say you feel pressure. I didn't feel pressure, and I wasn't even sure if I was pushing right. But my mom said I was, like, turning purple. So I guess I was pushing right. Um, so, yeah, he... It was crazy. It was definitely a tune. And I actually have a labor delivery video that my friend made. Um, I'll post it when I do get it. Um, she's like uh, editing it right now. But, um, yeah. So he's here. And um, he was born at 10.43 a.m. Um, he was 7 pounds, 10 ounces, 19 and a half inches long. Um, pretty average. I thought he was going to be a lot smaller. I thought he was going to be a lot smaller, but, um, just because that's what my doctor said, but he's about average. I don't know how much he weighs right now. He's gotten really chubby. He's pretty cute. Um, oh, sorry, I'm so tired. Um, here, I'll show you guys some. He's all sleepy, but come here. See the camera. That's Shiloh Gray Morrow. He's tired. I just fed him so he's out of it. He's sleepy. He's a sleepy boy. Um so yeah, that's about it. Really easy labor and delivery. Um I was kinda bummed because I wanted to be in there longer, <laughs> but I wasn't. Uh, anyways, I will make my, uh, one week update with him and my one week postpartum video, um, in hopefully today. Maybe not. I'm really tired. Um, so I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.